Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that hexagon grill exercise in AutoCAD and it went quite well. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, let's start with a circle on our sketches layer. I need a circle at zero, 00 and the radius should be 300. Then I need a line which starts at zero, 00. Length should be 300 and the angle should be 90 minus 40, 50. Then another line which starts at zero, 00. Length 300 and the angle should be 90 plus 40, that's 130. Now let's trim. And that sh should be removed. Enter. Now I want to make a surface. I want to rotate that arc. So let's go to surface, go for revolve. I want to revolve this one. Right click, enter, and the axis should be from 0, 0 up to that point here. And I want to go for 35 degrees. Then I want to mirror that surface to go for home mirror. I want to mirror this one, right click, and the plane should be that plane right here. No. And then I want to make a union, this one and that one, right click and maybe hide that grid and put this one onto a different layer, maybe on the surfaces layer. Okay. I will need copy of will need copies of this one, so I will select it, control C, Control V, zero zero. Control V zero zero and I will put those two copies onto a different layer, maybe onto my surfaces two layer. And another one on the surfaces two layer. And let's hide that layer. Okay. Next I will need a hexagon. I could hide that surface for the moment. Sorry. Okay. And that hexagon should be on a different plane. So I have to rotate my axis system around the x-axis by the default value like this. Now let's draw a hexagon, go for polygon, six sides, center should be at zero, zero. Inscribed or circumscribed doesn't matter. And it should be oriented like this. Okay. Now, in order to get it to 10 millimeters per side, I will use parametric constraints. So, first go to this one and make it like that this one as well. Okay. 
then add dimensions so this would be some value and if I go for 10 right now what will happen let's see yeah that would happen so I don't want to do it like this undo I will just give it a dimension like this repeat that command and this should be d1 repeat that command now I need a line dimension go here go there or I could go for a circle and then maybe yeah I should do some more dimensions for safety reasons and this one again this should be d1 repeat that command again that will be d1 repeat that command d1 and another dimension here and again this should be d1 If I now change D1, all the other sides will change as well. So let's go here. Try to select it. This should be 10. All the other ones will adjust. Now to get this back onto 0, 0, I will use a circle. Maybe let's hide those dimensions as well. Hide all. Then for my circle, go to home, I need a circle, could do with this one. And the center should be at the mid between two points, between those two points. And it should go up to that point. Okay, let's try that auto constrain and see if this gives me some constraints. Mm, yeah. Now let's hide those and I want to move this one to the center at zero, 00 and the set value should be minus 300. Okay, so let's move it to zero, 00, go to move, select those two, right click the base point should be the center of that circle and I want to move this to hashtag zero zero and now it should be moved to set coordinate so I want to use that tool select them both right click the base would be of course, zero, zero, column, zero, and I move, want to move it to zero, column, zero, column, minus 300. Let's see if this worked. Yes, it did. Great. Now I need some polylines, 3D polylines. I could delete that one. Let's see, 3D polyline, where you go, 3D polyline, yes. This should go from this point to that point, and then it should go to that end point, right here, and then close. Now I want to make a surface, a planar surface, right click with an object, that object here, right click. Let's move this one onto a different layer, maybe on that layer right here, surface 3 layer. Now I want to go for a circular pattern. 
that should work. Circular pattern. I want to pattern that surface right here. Right click. The center would be zero zero, and I need six instances. Yeah, and I don't want it to be associative. Close the array, and then I want to make a union. Union. Those. Not trim, I want to make a union. Solid union. Select it like this. And of course, I don't want to use that polyline. Okay, looks good. And now I could trim that surface, this one, with that new surface. Okay, go for surface, go for trim. I want to trim this surface, right click, enter with that one. Right click and it should remove this side. Yeah, and that one is on the wrong layer. Put it back there. Great. I could move this one on to layer 0 because I don't need it anymore and I will hide layer 0. Okay, let's thicken that surface. That should happen maybe on that solid plus layer. So go for solid, thicken this surface. Right click one millimeter in one direction and then another thicken, thicken this surface. Right click with minus one millimeter, then move or make a union between this solid and that solid. Right click and move that solid onto the blue solid plus layer. Now I want to make another circular pattern. Well, let's take a look. I want to pattern it in that direction. That would be right now around the x-axis. So I will have to Turn my axis system around the y-axis, yes. So let's go there. Turn it around the y-axis. 90 degrees. That should work, yeah. Now go for a circular pattern. Select that object. 3D solid, right click around 0, 0. And I need 6 instances with 3 degrees spacing. Yeah. Now in order to turn them 1.75 degrees, you have to make sure that your units are here with the angle set to at least, uh, not this one, but come on. Zero zero two to that precision. Now let's go for three D rotate. I want to rotate this one, that one, and this one. Right click. Base point should be zero zero, and I want to turn it around that blue band by 1.75 degrees. Yeah, that looks okay. Now I need a circular pattern. That should be the working coordinate system. Yeah. Go for another circular pattern. I want to pattern all of those. 
right click center should be zero zero and I will need 10 instances with 3.5 degrees space in between and this time I want to go for associative that should be 3.5 10, yeah, 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 and close the array. Yeah, that looks okay. Now let's mirror that to the other side. So go for 3D mirror, select it, right click, and that would be a plane like this. That point, this point, and maybe that one. No. Then mirror it once more. Mirror this pattern, that pattern. Right click with that plane right here. Point, point, and point. Like this. Great. Let's hide those. Go to hide those and hide that surface as well put it onto maybe layer zero so it will be hidden and there's another one obviously okay now it's hidden and let's show one of the surfaces let's go here there are two and let's put one onto the yellow layer okay and hide the yellow one i will need a rectangle and therefore i have to rotate my axis system around the x-axis by 90 degrees okay let's draw a rectangle at zero zero and it should be 340 column 135 so it's here let's move it to the correct point i want to move this one right click the base point should be mid between two points yeah and move this one to zero column zero column minus 300 oh that didn't did not quite work seems i got the wrong let's try once more the yeah i did the base point wrong the base point here yeah, should be the center right click mid between two points between this point and that end point right here yeah well, that's okay and it should be so to a different way go to mid between two points between this point and that point yeah that's more like it now i need some 3d polylines one from this point to that point right here then to this end point and then close Let's make a planar surface, right click with an object, that object, here, right click, then another one, 3D polyline, from this point to that end point, to this end point and close, then do another planar surface with an object, that object, right click, now I want to rotate those. Let's go to bottom. I want to rotate those two. Go for rotate this surface and that surface. Right click. Zero zero should be the base point. And I need a copy. And I want to rotate it by 180 degrees. Nice. Now I could make a union 
with those surfaces. Right click and let's trim. Surface trim. I want to trim this surface. Right click with that one. Right click and I want to remove the outside. Okay. Let's put this one onto layer zero. Yep. Go to the layer here and hide the sketches. Now I want to thicken that surface. Thicken this one. Right click 0 0.5 in one direction and, and 0 0.5 in the other direction. So select it, the surface, right click 0 0 minus 0.5 in the other direction. Let's make a union. Union between this solid and the other solid. Right click and try to hide that surface which is here on layer 0. Yeah, so this should be a solid. Yes, it is. Let's move that solid to a different layer. And let's bring back our hexagons. And I want to subtract from this one the hexagon. So go for subtract. Select that orange solid. Right click and subtract the, not like this, but like that. Right click the hexagons. Nice. Let's hide the blue solids. I need that surface, so I want to go and activate this one. Select the surface, yes, and move it onto that magenta one and hide the layer zero once more. Now I want to extend that surface, so go to surface, want to extend, extend, this edge, that edge, this one, and that one. Right click by 5 millimeter. Hide that surface. Oh no, I could, I could leave it here, doesn't matter. Now I want to thicken that small stripe here. So go to Home, no, Solid, Thicken. Thicken that surface, right click in one direction, 2 millimeter. Then thicken it once more. And that would be minus 3 millimeter. Let's make a union between this solid and that solid. Right click. Now I want to do the fillets. Therefore it would be better to move this one into a different layer, maybe on the green one. Yeah, and let's hide the green one. And hide the orange one as well. Okay, let's do the fillets. Go for a fillet. Right click radius should be 10. Let's go there. Yes. This edge here. Yeah. That one. Yeah. And the last one over here. And 
enter enter nice let's go for the other fillets which should be 15 this one that one this one and the last one here enter enter great let's move this surface onto layer zero yep bring back our orange grid hexagon grid and I could already make a union between those two. So go for a union, select this one and that one, right click, great. Let's hide that one. This one and show the green one. I want to extend that surface now by 25. So go for extend, select the edge, this edge, that one and this one, right click and extend it by 25 millimeters. I could now hide that one. So hide this one and let's thicken this one. So solid, thicken, right click one millimeter up, thicken once more, right click minus one millimeter again make a union this solid and the other one right click let's do our fillets let's go for 10 millimeter here there here and finally there right click enter and enter another one with 20 millimeters radius 20 on those edges here and there oh sorry wrong one can I deselect not really at least the preview doesn't work like that so let's try once more radius 20 select this edge and that one this one no Again, the wrong one. That's 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 really really. Is it deselected? Hope so. Now that works. I hope I really deselected that one up. But and turn. Let's take a look. And turn. Yeah, let's hide that surface on layer zero and bring back our orange solid. Now make a union between those two. So this one 
and that one right click let's go for a chamfer on the edges so go for a chamfer with 0505 so go for a loop let's try to select this one but let's go for the distance 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and let's select that edge does it go all around now because it didn't remember the loop somehow here and of course here no here enter enter and another one on the outside so let's try to go for a loop this time maybe it will go around it does and uh, and uh. great and i'm done so if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.